is the vital organ of the circulatory system in animals. Is the structure of the heart the same in fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals? No, the structure of the heart varies among the different groups of animals. Fishes have a two-chambered heart. Amphibians and most reptiles have a three-chambered heart. Birds and mammals have a four-chambered heart. What is the advantage of having a four-chambered heart? In a four-chambered heart, the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood are completely separated. This ensures efficient respiration as more oxygen is able to reach the body tissue. Let's learn more about the structure and function of the human heart. The human heart is located safely within the rib cage. Within the rib cage, it lies between the lungs. The lower end or apex of the heart is tilted such that a major portion of it lies in the left half of the chest. Our right lung is larger than the left one because of the placement of the heart. The outermost covering of the heart is the pericardium. The pericardium is a double-walled membrane. The pericardial fluid flows between the two walls. The pericardium is followed by the epicardium, myocardium and endocardium. Together they constitute the wall of the heart. Myocardium, the muscular layer, is made up of involuntary, striated cardiac muscle fibers found only in the heart. If you observe closely, you can see small blood vessels on the surface of the heart. Can you guess the role of these blood vessels? The heart gets its supply of oxygen and nutrition from the coronary arteries and deoxygenated blood is carried away by the coronary veins. Now let's explore the heart's internal structure. Our heart is divided into four chambers. Left atrium, right atrium, left ventricle and right ventricle. The interatrial and interventricular septa separate the left and right sides of the heart from each other. The pulmonary veins bring blood into the left atrium and the superior and inferior vena cava bring blood into the right atrium. The entry and exit of blood from the atrium and ventricles is monitored by the presence of valves that allow blood flow only in one direction. The bicuspid or mitral valve guards the opening between the left atrium and left ventricle. Whereas the tricuspid valve guards the opening between the right atrium and right ventricle. The left ventricle opens into the iota and the right ventricle opens into the pulmonary artery. The openings to these blood vessels are guarded by semilunar valves. The aortic valve between the left atrium and the iota and the pulmonary valve between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. Based on what you have learned, answer this question.
Now that you are acquainted with the structure of the heart, let's take a look at the route that blood follows while moving within the heart. The superior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood from the upper body into the right atrium, whereas the inferior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood from the lower body into the right atrium. This deoxygenated blood enters the right ventricle via the tricuspid valve. It is then pumped into the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Now, let's see what's going on on the left side. The pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left atrium. This oxygenated blood enters the left ventricle via the bicuspid valve. It is then pumped to the iota, which supplies it to various parts of the body. Based on what you have learned, answer this question. The pumping action of the heart is because of the alternate contraction and relaxation of the atria and ventricles. The contraction phase of the heart is called the systole and the relaxation phase is called the diastole. This rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the chambers of the heart during one heartbeat constitute the cardiac cycle. The heart beats about 72 times per minute. Thus, the duration of each cardiac cycle is approximately 0 0.8 seconds. The characteristic lub-dub sounds of the heartbeat are produced as the valves close. The closing of the atrioventricular valves produces the louder lub sound and the closing of the semilunar valves produce the softer dub sound. Observe the given scenario. What does the graph on this monitor represent? The heart constantly generates a sequence of electrical activities with every single heartbeat. This signal is recorded as a graph called an electrocardiogram. The human heart has specialized regions of muscular fiber that constitute the nodal tissue. This tissue has the capacity for independent excitability. Nodal tissue in the sinoatrial node or SEM, located in the top right corner in wall of the right atrium, it generates an impulse that causes the atria to contract. The electrical signal continues in another nodal tissue region called the atrioventricular node or the AV node. After a short delay, the signal travels from AV node through specialized muscle called the bundle of His and Purkinje fibers. This causes the contraction of the ventricles.